Hi, this is John Burek with PC Mag. Um, we're here at the Gigabyte Aorus booth at CES 2020, and what we're here with is a uh, pretty unique gaming laptop. Now, this is a 17-inch machine that um, we've actually seen before in, in um, another trade show uh, environment. It was at Computex uh, the middle of last year. And what makes this machine um, unique? There are actually three things. Um, very uh, robust overclockability, um, a very high-quality screen, and a keyboard that actually is a world's first. It's the first using mechanical Omron switches. Now, this isn't the first time that somebody has done a mechanical keyboard in a gaming laptop. We've seen things um, like that from MSI and a few other vendors, but this one specifically is using a low-profile switch from Omron, a Japanese maker of switches, which is um, well-known for quality. These are um, rated for 15 million key presses each, and I have to say that the key feel on these is pretty extraordinary. Um, it isn't super deep in terms of how far the keys go down but the feedback and the clickiness is excellent and if you're a mechanical keyboard aficionado you're really going to like this keyboard one of the um, other aspects that I mentioned earlier is um, heavy overclockability. Now, this machine can be gotten with a Core i7 or a Core i9 processor in it. Um, the sort of beast machine that you could put together from this would be a Core i9 9980HK. HK is telling you that it's in Intel's Core H series of power processors for laptops, and the K is that it's overclockable. This machine has a pretty aggressive cooling system. Um, it also runs um, off of uh, two 330-watt power adapters, so you're getting a lot of um, power here if you really want to get into the overclocking aspect of it. Even if you don't overclock though, this is a pretty robust machine that uh, content creators and gamers will both be pretty happy with. The third thing that you um, will notice here is the screen. Now this, without a um, context here, you can't tell how big it is, but this is a 17.3 screen. And with 17.3 inch screens, you have a limited number of panel options and some limitations. So Boris went with a 17.3 inch screen here that's Pantone certified. Each one is calibrated as it comes out of the factory. And it's also, in addition to that, a 240 hertz capable panel. Um, so that's sort of a sweet spot for both um, content creators and PC gamers who really want to push the envelope both when they're playing and when they're working. It's a very premium panel. So in terms of other aspects of this machine, um, you can get it with um, a GPU as low, and I say low in quotes, as a 1660 Ti from uh, NVIDIA, and as high as a 2080, an RTX 2080. The thing is with the GPUs in these machines, they are full fat, all out um, GPUs. They are still mobile, but not max Q. This machine has enough um, girth to handle you know, the heat and the cooling that's required for running these at a uh, not reduced state. So you can switch between graphics modes on this machine. You can rely completely on the IGP, the integrated graphics processor, as well as the 2080 or whatever RTX um, or GTX GPU you're putting in here. So that can save you battery life in case you're using this machine on the road and you're away from a power outlet. You can switch over to the IGP, the integrated graphics, when you're not doing something that's graphics intensive. As for the storage in this machine, you have um, up to three drives that you can put in here. You can have two M2 PCI Express drives, as well as one two and a half inch drive, which could be an SSD or a platter drive if you want to go for maximum capacity. So you have a pretty good um, local storage um, potential for this machine if you really want to max it out for content creation, if you're doing um, video editing or heavy photo editing. This machine um, looks like a real beast if you are looking for something that's great for content creation and gaming. And if you happen to be a fan of mechanical keyboards, it really doesn't get much better than that in a uh, gaming laptop or for that matter, any laptop. So um, I would suggest checking this machine out if you're a person who bridges both of those worlds of gaming and content creation. It looks like a winner and it's got a great screen and keyboard.